In this video, we're going to learn how to create iframes. Iframes are HTML documents which are embedded in other HTML documents. They are used to include any external content like advertisements or uh, a YouTube video or anything else. Okay, so I've already created the iframes file. So let's go ahead and create our first iframe. So the tag we're going to need for that is iframe. All right. And we're going to give it a few attributes. So the first attribute is going to be the source of our iframe. And for this first example, we are going to give it as a, as a source one of our previous files. So you're going to pick up the paragraphs file, for example. Okay. So now you can see that we are populating the iframe with the content of the uh, paragraphs uh, HTML file. There are other attributes we can use to resize the uh, iframe. So for example, we can set the width to uh, 200 pixels and the height as well. We can set it to 150 pixels. Okay. Also, we can set the frame border to one, for example. So that's our uh, first iframe. So the syntax is pretty straightforward. It's just using iframe tags and we give it a source and we can uh, set the dimensions as we want. So now we're going to create another iframe, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. So, so we're going to create an iframe and rather than having the content of the iframe with a specific source, we're going to add a link, and once we click on the link, we're going to open the link inside the iframe. Okay, so let's create the iframe first. So we're going to use the iframe tag. Okay, and this time we're going to need to give it a name. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to name it my iframe. And then we're going to create a link. So we're going to put a link inside the paragraph. Okay. And our link, let's uh, put some text there. And our link, first of all, is going to have a an href. Okay. So for example, go into the Wikipedia homepage. Links, they have another attribute that we haven't covered so far. It's called target. So if we set the target to blank, for example, okay, and you click on the link, it's going to open in a new tab. Okay, that's what blank means. Right, but now we're going to set the target to something else. We're going to set the target to the name of our iframe which is my iframe. And now, if we click on the link, okay, we're going to need to refresh the page. If we click on the link, the page is going to open inside our iframe. Okay? All right. Now we're going to create our last example. As you have noticed, the iframes, they are inline elements, so we don't have any line break between uh, iframes. We can uh, add a line break if you want to, just by adding a br tag. Okay. Now let's create our last iframe, but this one is going to be a little bit different. Okay. So this iframe is going to have a YouTube video in it. So we're going to give it a source, but this time let's go to uh, YouTube. So I picked up this uh, video. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go to share, okay, and then click on embed. And you just copy this code, okay, you can you can copy the whole, the whole code, okay, and just get rid of the iframe code that we started, okay. And if you go to your to the web page you can see the YouTube video there. You can resize this if you want to so you can set the width to 
200 pixels for example and or 400 and the height to 200 for example